Call the meeting to order for October 22nd, 2019. Invocation will be by Mr. Rainier. Please stand. <clears throat> let us not shield our children from the ignorance of the world. Rather, let us join together and educate them about positive change. It is our responsibility to offer our children an unbiased explanation of the why while guiding them to respectfully make up their own minds. Children and adults alike need to understand that words, either typed or spoken, have the power to shape a relationship for the better or for the worse. It takes a village to raise a child. This is an African proverb in the truism. It means that the entire community or people must interact with children in order for those children to experience and grow in a safe and healthy environment. Our village here in Enfield is made up of many dedicated individuals and groups that want to empower and educate our children. We look to our coaches, custodial staff, lunch aides, paraprofessionals, specialists, administrative assistants, nurses, administrators, teachers, parents, grandparents, siblings, relatives, close friends, and neighbors to help prepare our children for success. Our founding fathers have provided us with the freedom of choice and the ability to vote. On Tuesday, November 5th, our friends and neighbors will be voting for nine Board of Education members Candidates for this election span three separate parties, each with a different ideological view of what they want the school district to look like. To those running, I would like to remind you that the reason we need you isn't for politics, rather to be part of our village. At the end of the day, if we let politics run the village, the kindergarten kids at Hazardville Memorial won't understand the political differences, but they will understand adults fighting and being mean to one another. Let us remember why we are all here, let us remember to be kind to our neighbors. And most importantly, let us remember the kiddos we serve. Amen. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless America. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Renier. Fire evacuation, if in case of emergency, we have the exit to the rear chambers, out to the parking lot, or my left, your right. Yeah, my left, your right, and left out down the, the, the back stairs to the rear parking lot. Could we have roll call, please? Mr. Renier? Here. Mr. Rutledge? Mrs. Riley? Here. Mrs. LeBlanc? Here. Mrs. Hernandez? Mr. Neville? Here. Mr. Ryder? Here. Chairman Cruzel? Here. Thank you. And we have a, a, a fill-in for Mr. Rutledge. <laughs> that's, Rich, that's Mr. Rene's son. So, board guests, we have none. So we jump right to superintendent's report, Mr. Dresick. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm going to let Madison begin this evening. <laughs> Go ahead, Madison. Yep. Thursday at 3:45 is the student um, field hockey volleyball game, and that's October 27th is the annual Best Buddies Friendship Walk from 10 to 2 at Quinnipiac University. And it's not too late to donate to the Enfield High Chapter. So. Thank you. Mr. Dresick. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. As a reminder, our Teacher of the Year reception, board members are invited to the Teacher of the Year reception for Pam Estes, who you remember from a previous board meeting, came and presented on Thursday, October 24th at Enfield High, I believe it's at JFK, not Enfield JFK. High School. JFK. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's a typo on my part. Um, and closing your packet is a flyer with additional information. Uh, Enfield High School will hold their 2019-2020 National Honor Society induction ceremony on Tuesday, October 29th in the Enfield High School Auditorium at 7 p.m. And closing your packet is information for the event. Uh, first readers will hold their first ceremony of the 2019-2020 school year on Monday, November 4th in the Enfield High School Auditorium at 6 p.m. The event is open to the public. All Enfield Public Schools will dismiss early on Wednesday, October 30th for staff half-day PD. Students will not attend school on Tuesday, November 5th for Elections Day and for staff a full professional development day. All Enfield Public Schools will be closed on Monday, November 11th for Veterans Day and all Enfield Public Schools will dismiss early on Tuesday, November 12th for elementary conferences and for staff half professional development day. Uh, the board will hold a special meeting on Wednesday, November 13th here in the council chambers at 7 p.m. The 2019-2021 Board of Education will be sworn in by our town clerk, Susanna Lenicki, and she'll administer the oath of office for all newly elected board members. 
inside your packet, there's a grant report, a personnel report, and two items that aren't on the superintendent's report. One is a heartfelt thank you to the staff and all of the families and members of the Prudence Crandall community. As you're all aware of at this point, we had a bit of a water main issue in the parking lot last Friday afternoon um, that we had to conduct an early release for students just at Prudence Crandall. Uh, by the time I got done sending out a message and talking to the media and got over to the school, uh, Mr. Sills and his team had teachers dispatched all over the parking lots working as, um, I don't want to say attendants, parking lot attendants, directing traffic. Um, it was, there really was no need for myself or Mr. Cruzel to be there. We were just in the way, but that's because of the, st the way the staff came together and pulled in what could have ordinarily been a very disruptive time for kids and, and families. Uh, it really wasn't. So I want to thank everyone again at the, the Prudence Crandall family for making sure that our kids' best interests were, were all taken care of what, what, in what could have been a difficult time, but ultimately wasn't. Uh, and last but not least, uh, this morning we had the pleasure of anointing our new Enfield delegate for our kid governor race, um, and it's a student from a different school this year. Uh, it's a fifth grader named Kylie Feliciano from Eli Whitney School. We had the pleasure of introducing her today. I think I just stole Mr. Ryder's comments, so I apologize. Uh, I did share with uh, her, she was extremely excited. She's, uh, unfortunately, there's a very short timetable for her to put her video for the state competition together. So herself and I believe our other student rep, Mr. Golden, is actually the one doing the audio visual for her on the video. So he may actually be helping her as we speak because it has to be submitted by, I believe, 5 o'clock Thursday. I get my days mixed up. Um, that said, uh, we have, I have spoke with, with Kylie's parents and, and informed her that we're going to invite her to the first board meeting of, of the next, next term um, just because we have the swearing in and we will know the results of the statewide competition and we're all anticipating her to be elected as kid governor anyway, so we'd like to do the announcement all at once. However, in the event she is not successful in her quest to be state, uh, Connecticut, uh, kid governor for the entire state, uh, I did notify her this morning that she is now officially uh, the Enfield kid mayor, which carries more weight than the actual mayor in Enfield. So uh, we will be inviting her to the meeting on Tuesday, November 30th to present to the entire board. And we'll also have an opportunity to invite the current sitting kid mayor um, as her last official act of duty to say goodbye to the board as well. And that concludes the superintendent's report. Thank you. And I want to add that uh, Prudence Crandall, it was there. They did a phenomenal job over there. It was a well oiled machine what they did and I, I mean I got to call it what 10 of 10 of 11 and I got over there by 10 after 10 after 11 and by then the buses were already coming in they had to reroute them a different way because the parking lot was closed buildings and ground was already there they were cutting asphalt by 11 15 and they already had an excavator by 11 20. I mean it was boom 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 done so and Mr. Cruz, I want to apologize. I, I had on my notes I forgot to mention. I also have to send out a heartfelt thanks to the members of Smith Bus Company. Oh, um, literally got a, a call to Jesse at the bus company at about 10.35. and said we have to dismiss kids at probably 11.15. And within seconds, they already had buses rerouted. And all the hey. bus drivers went out of their way and also returned with kids um, if they did, weren't comfortable leaving a child home if a parent wasn't notified. So everybody... Uh, and also the Enfield Police Department. Thank you, Andy. Um, one of the, while I was on the phone, Andy called to the police department, said, "Can we get extra cops down there? Just not because there was an emergency, just because we wanted the confusion of the parking lot and where the water main was." Uh, and within five minutes, they had extra officers dispatched to the school. So this really was a community-wide effort. I, I failed to mention the bus company and the police department in my original response. I intended to, so I apologize. But thank you all that was involved in that again. And to, and to add on the bus company, they said the buses that that were supposed to be there. They didn't send any backup buses. Every number that was, they were calling the numbers literally off the bus. They said bus 41 is here, and it, it was bus 41. It wasn't a makeup bus. It was the bus that, so there wasn't any substitute drivers and trying to figure out routes. It was the drivers that, it just, we can't say enough. It was, you know, and within a half an hour, I mean, really, literally within a half an hour, it was all, said and done and then the parents came in and, and did their pickups and yep. everybody stepped up and did a phenomenal job so mm -hmm. leave it at that audiences we have none oh. <coughs> please just just sign the sheet on your way up 
Three minutes, three minutes only. And then afterwards, just put your name and address, but, uh, say your name and address for the record, and, and just put your name and address on the sheet there. Uh, John, Jonathan, Jonathan will blink, 12 Hemlock Drive. Um, I just want to make some public comments about um, inform and inform everyone about a great new thing in the Enfield patch um, that's been going on for a few weeks. Um, so every Sunday evening, Monday morning, um, if you go to Enfield Patch online, it's got the entire sports schedule for all Enfield High Varsity sports for an entire week. Um, I think it's a great thing for all those people who want to, you know, maybe check up on what's going on at Enfield High Athletics and uh, maybe come out, see a game. Um, it's got them listed all right there. It's easy enough. Um, so, yeah, it's a great thing. Um, so Enfield Patch online and, um, yeah, go Eagles. <laughs> You, sir and again just fill out your name on that sheet over there all right we'll close close uh, public communication your audiences number nine board member comments mr. Renier thank you mr. chairman uh, I'd like to for Hasville Memorial uh, October 25th is picture day uh, October 28th uh, book fair along with the 29th and 30th. And on October 30th, uh, the book fair uh, combined with the Halloween party and the family book fair night. So anyone looking to buy some books at Hazardville, then be your days. Uh, I'd like to congratulate um, Pam Lestes over at uh, JFK for uh, Teacher of the Year. Um, we have awesome teachers here and that's just, uh, it must be hard picking one <laughs> every year. Uh, so big shout out to her. Um, and although I think this is my last public comment uh, in regards to the Board of Ed, I just wanted to thank everyone here, uh, sitting here, Scott, Tim, Tina, Walter, Charlotte, Chris, Andy, um, Kathy, she's not here, Madison, you're here, you're new, but hey, thanks. Um, no, but everyone that's uh, been here for the past uh, three years, two years, one year, um, it's been a great ride, a lot of ups, a lot of downs. Um, at the end of the day, um, I hope that I did at least one thing that made a difference. Um, and if I didn't, then I guess I'll have to come back in like 20 years and do it again. <laughs> um, but everyone here has been phenomenal. Um, from day one, um, this this board has been non-political. Uh, and I think that's been the greatest thing ever. It doesn't matter if you're Republican, Democrat. Um, we just did what's best for the kids. And like I said in my opening remarks, I, I hope going forward, whoever the nine is that's sitting up here, uh, will work with our administration and, and work with our teachers and, and continue the passion uh, that we have towards those kids. Um, I, I couldn't do this without um, my wife, her support, my kiddo, my daughter. Um, so all around, it's been a great time. A lot of busyness. Um, time away from the family for events but uh you know it's a good time for reflection and uh, definitely won't be the last time that i'll be here um next time i'll be here i'll probably be sitting there um yelling at whoever's up here because of some lunch schedule um and that will be okay uh so i just wanted to thank everybody and uh best of luck to those who continue on the board um i've made great friendships and uh, i thank you all for that Who wants to pick start from this side? Mr. Neville? I just have a couple of things. Uh, first of all, Rich, you know, thank you. You know, I think sometimes we forget that we're all volunteers here and that um, um, we all have families. You guys have jobs. I'm retired now, so I have to worry about that part. But it keeps you pretty damn busy, and you're trying to get to all your activities and stuff like that. So I just wanted to thank you for your two years of service and the two years of service for your family, too, because it's it's a big deal. And it's, it's, it's very, very important what you do and what we all do. I think your comments tonight reflected on what we have to keep our focus on, which is the kiddos. Okay, and I thank you for that. So. I also appreciate your sense of humor on my comments about the fund committee that we've been on here. You've been very, very tolerant of that, and I appreciate it. You've done a hell of a job with the uh, uh, policy committee. I mean, it's a tedious job. Your attention to detail has been good. Yeah, I haven't had to, you know, screen every single word uh, that I used to have to do now because you've got it all. You've got it all set up. But just thank you. It's important what we do, and you know, I encourage people to come out for this. But it is a sacrifice. So. 
Thanks. We, we look forward to seeing you up here. You're welcome. And, and I allowed you to think that your committee was the best. So you're welcome <laughs> for that as well. As I said, you're See, the truth can come out. The truth can come out now. But what are we going to do, fire him? Uh, secondly, I, you know, I have two other things. One is it's, it's a little bit sad. We got a memo uh, um, from uh, Shannon Grant informing us that Effie, which is the Enfield Foundation for Excellence in Education, we're going to cease its operation, I think, effective November 15th. We're around there. Shannon said it was becoming increasingly difficult to recruit volunteers and raise sufficient funds to meet the mission of the foundation. I didn't realize how much they had dedicated or raised over the last 10 years, but they had raised over and awarded more than $34,000 in grants and scholarships, as well as $2,000 in scholarships to teachers, students, and programs. In my mind, these folks are the unsung heroes of Enfield Citizens that take an idea, they operationalize it, and they go ahead and make a positive difference. Though sad that their good works have to cease as a board, we should applaud their work and dedication on behalf of Enfield's teachers and students. So they're good, good people. And, and they don't, they're, un, they don't, they're not looking for any, any praise. They're just looking to do a good job, and they do a great one. The last one has to do with these things that we've all been getting since, I think, September 6th, okay, from Kite. On a weekly basis for the past two months, Kite's leaders, Leanne Bolio and Chris Gomo, have been sending out a one-page issues research to all candidates running for office in the upcoming election. These are informative. They're not political. They're informative regarding issues in early childhood education giving us detail about executive function skills, self-regulation, working memory, Alice families, and many, many others that some of which I hadn't heard of before. I don't know about the rest of you. And some of them I did, but I got more information from going through it. I'm sure we all found it informative, and I think it's going to be useful to us when we get elected. I know a lot of us came into this thing here and we said, what's Kite? You know, we really didn't know. These people identified an idea and came up with a solution. They didn't ask for any praise or anything. They just got us a solution. I, f I found it very, very valuable, and I'm happy that they did it. I just wanted to say thank you for them for identifying it and help us in helping solve that problem of information. That's it. Thank you, Mr. Neville. Mr. Blank. Um, just a couple things. Uh, last night, Enfield High, the Enfield High football team held their annual Trick or Trunk event for the Enfield Flag uh, football players. Um, it was well attended. This year, um, the donation requested was a donation for the food shelf, and I heard an unofficial number of they raised $257 for the Enfield food shelf, which I think is amazing. Um, I'm going to take a minute. I just wanted to say thank you to Rich. Um, it does take a village. I love what you said tonight. Um, it's true. Um, all often we do get lost in politics. It's very easy, <laughs> and uh, we've all been guilty of it. But some of us know how to dig back out and remember what we're here for, and it's it's for the kids. Um, I feel bad you weren't on the curriculum committee, but after eight years, I'm still not on the curriculum committee. So you know, I was on finance with Charlotte, but we had our own fun. Um, but I always appreciate you. I also appreciated your passion and your wit um, at the meetings during serious times, your outlook. Um, if I could have talked to you before you ran, I would have said it's not going to be easy, but it's going to be worth it. And you know it was worth it, no matter what we've gone through. And I agree with you, you can't do it without your family. So I thank them, and I thank you. And you know how to get in touch with me if I forget where I need to be. So thank you. Um, the other person I want to point out is Charlotte. Um, I have the utmost respect for you, and I'm going to get emotional. I admire you. All right, move the tissues. <laughs> um, you lead by example, and you've been an amazing vice chair, and you've been a really good board member. You're fair, you're kind, you're honest, and you listen. Um, I'm sad you're not going to be sitting with us. Um, but the town council is lucky to get you, and we'll still have you, because you know what we go through on the board. We've bridged this gap with the town council, um, and I know you'll keep that that bridge there. So I think you're going to do awesome, but we're going to miss you. I, I know I'm not just speaking for myself, but um, I do. And there's there's times we've had um, you know different issues we had to talk about, and you always just brought a different perspective and a point of view, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. So this isn't goodbye. It's see in a joint meeting. <laughs> and, um, you know, if I end up here again and on finance committee, I'll think of you. So thank you. Um, there's one last thing um, I want to talk about. Uh, 
this debate um, issue seems to be growing and growing. And um, there was an article last week, which um, I got a lot of calls after. Um, last week, an article was published indicating that debate was canceled due to some quotes about not wanting to make the students uncomfortable. Um, it was my understanding as a board member um, that the students felt uncomfortable having the debate. As I said in my last board member comments, the students knew there had to be a change to the format, timing, etc. But the word uncomfortable was never indicated. They knew that the changes would have to happen, but no, at no point in time did they indicate it needed to be canceled. After my board member comments from the October 8th meeting, I received an email from a student thanking me for speaking up for the students. An excerpt from the email states, to see the debate being taken away by a part bipartisan decision that would have allowed us to innovate with the format and questions is heartbreaking. I took that to heart because a student took their time to email me. Think about that statement, let it stink in. This debate is about the students and their educational experience. I have faith that our teachers leading the youth vote were both excited and willing to work with the students to allow them this unique debate opportunity. This was taken away, own it, don't blame the students. Please don't tell me this was not a board issue and it could no longer be discussed. Please do not continue to spin this. It was canceled plain and simple. It was canceled not because of the students, because of the adults. The adults who this debate isn't really about at all. It's about enhancing the educational curriculum and allowing students to innovate and get involved in their local government. To the students and teachers, I'm sorry this was taken away from you. I am sorry this unique situation that would have afforded you ways to innovate and change the prior debate format was taken away from you. I tried, and one of my constituents on the board try, and we didn't try just once, but many times. I'm sorry that I could not make this happen for you. That's all. Thank you, Mr. LeBlanc. Mr. Ryder. <clears throat> so first and foremost, I'm very excited to wear my <laughs> Whitney Wolves shirt today uh, because what Mr. Dresick said about our next kid governor being from Eli Whitney. Um, Kylie, I'm proud of you. I, I know your mom, I know your dad, I know your brother. Uh, his, or her brother was actually just finishing up shopping at the book fair when Mrs. Wilson made the announcement to the entire school. Um, so it was very exciting to hear that. And uh, I wish you all the best in the kid governor, the next level. Um, and either way, you will be our next kid mayor, which is very exciting. So I look forward to seeing you here on Tuesday, November 30th. Um, <clears throat> I also wanted to speak to the uh, student sports schedules. Um, they're also, all the home games are posted on enfieldpto.com slash JFK or slash EHS, depending on whether they're middle school or high school sports games. We just list all the home games, um, but home and away games, there's links to every game. And there's also links to all the high school games that are televised, because a lot of the games are shown online, and there's, there's links to that as well. So even if you don't uh, have the opportunity to go, you could always stream it from your office and uh, watch your kids play even if you can't be at the game. Um, I also, I spoke to um, wishing all the best to Sarah, uh, Ashley, and Rich two weeks ago. And I knew that Charlotte was in a unique position where <clears throat> she's leaving this table on Tuesdays, <clears throat> but will be at this table on Mondays. Um, so in regards to your date change in the lineup on the broadcast nights, <clears throat> I just wanted to thank you for reaching out to me several times over the last two years about a mom concern at your school or a PTO concern at your school. We've always had that back and forth. I've had the same opportunity to do that with Ashley at Enfield Street. You know, if something came up and we've talked about how to answer a certain question a certain way and make sure that uh, <clears throat> it was understood. And I just wanted to wish you all the best on your lineup change from Tuesdays to Monday nights this fall on ABC TV. Um, <clears throat> So good luck with that, honestly. And to Rich, <clears throat> again, thank you for your uh, stewardship on the policy committee. Um, as your secretary of the policy committee, <laughs> we had uh, a good two years, although a few circumstances canceled a few meetings here and there this calendar year. Um, we did get a lot done. Um, our goal was to do everything that needed to be done in two years. And I think getting through 
even 80% of it was more than realistically we hoped to get through, um, but we actually got a lot done. So don't sell us short, even with a few uh, cancellations along the way. I know one thing that we were talking about, and I can't believe how many times politics has come up tonight because I don't like politics in the Board of Ed. I'm just a volunteer dad who wants to kind of speak for the kids. But one thing we were talking about non-partisanly <laughs> or bipartisanly, either way, um, was hopefully getting the second audience put back into the agenda for Board of Ed to kind of mirror what town council does. You know, a lot of times it won't be necessary, so we'll just kind of, are there anybody here to talk? No, great, on to the next thing. But just to have that opportunity to kind of mirror what town council does to get that back on the agenda, which I know is something that changed, not in our tenure, but in the tenure of the board before us. Um, so I'm hoping that who's ever sitting up here, um, that they can get that back on there for the occasional hot button topic issue of the day. Um, and when it's not needed, we skip it, so. I also wanted to uh, speak to Eli Whitney as far as what's going on in the school. Uh, we had our book fair this week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of this week. Uh, our Halloween party is this Friday. Um, so please, any parents that want to come out and have a good time with their kids and chat with the other parents, that's, that's kind of the real reason the PTO exists, you know, for the kids to have a good time, but also for the parents to kind of get together and talk about things that are going on in the classroom or arrange some play dates going forward. Um, so that'll be this Friday. Uh, it's Fridays uh, during the school day is picture day. And then Friday evening, again, is the Halloween party slash book fair slash trick or treat lane slash good time overall. The last thing I wanted to speak about was the Reese Across America opportunity that Lori Gates brought to the board two weeks ago. I wanted to, again, thank her for that. We've been emailing back and forth the last two weeks. I actually had the opportunity in the last couple of days to email all the PTOs in town. And two of the schools have already signed up to do that. So if you buy your wreath through their link, the school will get $5 of the $15 wreath donation. The other $10 goes to the wreath and its delivery. Um, we've also uh, given all the PTOs the code for the St. Patrick's Cemetery, which is the recipient of all these wreaths. And again, the Day of Remembrance is Saturday, December 14th. So whether you have the opportunity to purchase a wreath to see the parade that may or may not be coming through Enfield. We don't know the path yet. Maybe take some time that Saturday morning to go out to St. Patrick's Cemetery on Route 5 and at least be a part of that event itself. But we're hoping to kind of repeat what we've done the last few years where the parade does go through town and all that good stuff and the stop at Parkman is on the list either way. And uh, But keep an eye out um, for uh, some notes coming home from your PTOs about uh, sponsoring a wreath. Um, that's it for my last. Can the control room put the uh, website on for me? Well, that's the wreathsacrossamerica.org website. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to set up, yeah, we're going to set up a link for all the Enfield PTOs um, where they'll be able to sign up through each individual school. Um, so we're, uh, we're getting all that straightened out now. So put the other one up to pto.com. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> So yes, thank you. So that's it for my uh, last board comments of the 2017-2019 board. All right, Mr. Neville wants to add one more comment. Yeah, I apologize. I, I, I keep thinking that you're still here, okay? She used to I, don't I, want I, you to leave. I, 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 maybe it's you know, intuitive. I just don't want you to leave because you've been so helpful here. So I apologize. That was no slight. I just, you know, you've been here. You've been helpful. You've been incredible, actually, in terms of dealing with issues and stuff like that. So. I mean, if you recall, even on our pre-ref committee, you came up with a final solution as to how we were going to deal with the old administration wing. So we couldn't come up with it, and she comes up with it in like two seconds. So, But thank you very, very much, and uh, we'll look forward to continuing our relationship, whether it be on Mondays or Tuesdays. Okay. So my dear, it's your turn. Okay. Well, I'm going to start off with some normal stuff first. All right. So first readers. Like Mr. Dresick said, our first ceremony is on Monday the 4th at 6 p.m. at Enfield High Auditorium. Um, we always need volunteers to help out with that. Andy and Chris, I'm sorry we didn't invite you this time to be our special guests, but um, I thought I'd let you off the hook to have some fire chiefs come in instead, because I'm sure the kids are going to love that. Um, but stay tuned, because you're, you're coming back. <laughs> um, it's with um, a heavy heart that I have to announce that we have 
an empty board position. Um, our vice president had to step down for first readers, so um, we are looking for um, somebody else who'd like to come and help us out, fill the position. We got a trivia night to plan, we've got grants to write, books to get, um, and kids to celebrate. So if you're interested, check out First Readers on Facebook or the website, send us an email, um, we'd love to have you. Um, let's see, tomorrow is picture day at Prudence Crandall. Uh, Friday is the rescheduled Halloween party for Prudence Crandall. Um, and as a testimony to how awesome everybody did on Friday, I'm a Prudence Crandall parent, and there, I, there was no problems from where I was standing at the bus stop waiting. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it was, it was their normal bus driver on the same bus, so it was, it was great. Um, I know that everybody is in capable hands over there, and I feel very safe having my kids there. Um, Henry Barnard. Um, Saturday is Trick or Treat Street over there. Uh, so I think my kids are going to be Halloweened out at the end of this weekend, but we're, you know, it's all good. Yeah. But we can't because, per your words, Scott, Halloween is prom for kids. And it is. Halloween is prom for kids. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes. Yep. Okay. So, um, first and foremost, I wanted to thank um, my husband and my kids. They're what keeps me going every day. Um, they put up with all the meetings I go to and all the times that I just can't say no. Um, so thank you guys. I love you. Um, I told you I was going to try not to cry tonight. Thanks. <laughs> My parents, who um, usually are on the other side of that TV screen, but they surprised me tonight and they're here. Um, they've watched every single meeting. And I'm sorry if I've bored you to sleep, or any of us have bored you to sleep, especially sometimes those budget meetings can go kind of long. Um, thank you for your unending support and love. Um, I hope that I can be an awesome parent as you both are to my kids, this big shoes to fill. It's been an honor and a pleasure to serve Enfield as Vice Chairman of the Board of Education. I've seen a lot of things, met a lot of people, helped a lot of kids. Um, I work with amazing people up here. It's a great team. You're all awesome in your own individual ways. Rich, you always come with the truth and you always come with a sense of humor. And I'm going to miss the back and forth between you and Dresdick about the Red Sox and the Yankees. <laughs> yep. <sighs> Walter, I'm going to miss you always jumping up to help out. I mean, he even gave some kid his phone at Bruins Crandall the other day to call home to his parents. So you're always there to help out no matter what. Tina, I'm going to miss you for always speaking the truth. And we've had our disagreements. And you know what, though? I still respect you. And I think you're an awesome board member. And the time and dedication that you put into this over the, what, eight years has been uh, insane. So thank you for doing what you do. And Tim, there is not another person on this planet that is more fit for the board of it than you. <laughs> to be able to be a principal or teacher for all those years and then come here and do it all over again just from the different side is amazing and I have the utmost respect for you. Thank you. And Scott, PTO wouldn't be PTO without you. <laughs> Thank you for working through all the things um, together with all the different PTOs and making things accessible online to make it easier for parents. I really, really appreciate that. And I look forward, I look forward to being on JFK PTO with you. <laughs> That's gonna be an awesome PTO year. Um, I'm gonna be quick. Um, and then Chris, Andy, and Kathy and Judy, thanks for always answering my calls. I really appreciate it and all my questions because, you know, I have a thousand of them. I know the district is in great hands. Keep up the incredible job you're doing, and I'll see you around because with first readers, Boy Scouts, probably Girl Scouts, <laughs> and PTO, I'm bound to meet up with you again. Um, and I'll see you guys on Monday nights, hopefully. Um, I'll always support 
you guys, all of our kids, and the staff as best as I can. Um, so thank you for an awesome time. Um, I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you. Now well, it's my turn. The last two years. Well, okay, wait. No, oh, time out. We have special we have special people watching this tonight. I have my family from Florida watching on ETV. And my wife is down there with them. So hello, everyone down in Florida. So I wanted to throw that out there. I love you, honey. The last two years, I've had the 3 o'clock phone call, which I still have that voicemail on my phone from, uh, from the tragedy last uh, September. We had the shooting at Parkland that we had the, uh, the kids wanted to do a walkout, but we've convinced them to come to a forum that was held in the high school during their, that time that myself and the mayor went and spoke with the children, with the kids, children, with, this, with the students. We, uh, we went to two graduations, which the other day I was at, I was at the McDonald's and I hear a kid cooking a hamburger saying, hey, that guy handed me my diploma. Yeah. And I just, I just giggled, that was, that was, and we had the nice short speech this last graduation. And yes, we did get more gray hair, and we got the big applaud that we didn't speak. So I do remember that. It was a great two years. But that's enough about me. Let's start with, we'll start with the alphabet. Uh, Ashley, I know you're watching at home. I want to thank you for your time you served on the board. I'm sorry we didn't, we should have said it right after you left, but I feel it now. You were great on the curriculum committee. You were great with the uh, Enfield Street PTO. So I know you're at home watching. Thank you for your time you did up here. Rich, policy wouldn't have been the same without you. You, you. you took that job to heart. You did a great job. We got more than, more than halfway through our, our, our renewing our policies, and I thank you for that. And you've been a great board, board, uh, board member. Yes, we've had our you know, fights, but hey, we all came together and we remembered what we were here for. And the pay is great too, so you gotta remember that. So. You get your raise next week. Sarah, I hope you're watching at home too. You were also a great member. You uh, worked with the, uh, the Head Start. You worked with, uh, also on the curriculum committee. You did a, you know, with, with Tim. The three of you did an awesome job on that committee. A lot of new programs, a lot of new head, uh, AP courses were approved. So I want to thank you for that. These three we'll talk about later because we don't know what, we'll see what November brings. But I do got a, my vice chairman, you will be missed. But I know you're going to sit at this, you probably sit somewhere down. Well, maybe you'll be sitting in this chair, you don't know. Yeah. I mean, I heard that I heard that this position's open on the council, so you may be sitting in this chair. So. And, but you never know, you never know. But I know you do a great job. I know you have our backs. Yes, you can guarantee that. Yeah. Yes. So if we want something, you're going to make it happen. <laughs> we won't be too I will try. But, um, but again, it, I, it's been my honor to serve as the chairman. I started at the end, and I worked my way down, and I... I've, the, the, the collaboration we've had with the administration and, you know, any time I needed something, they were there. It was a text, hey, can you call me? Boom, the phone rang. You know, I, I'm not one to call out and I try to, you know, I'm not going to bother them. If they're busy, they got work to do, they, you know, they can get back to me. So if it was an emergency, they would. But it was a great ride and... We'll see what happens in November. If we continue or not, how we continue, where we sit, it's all up, all up in the air. So, and again, I do want to uh, remind everyone that Prudence Crandall, that that the emergency from last Friday, that was, I just, I was amazed how the staff just jumped to action and got it all done. I just, that's the faith we have in our staff, with our buildings and grounds. 
with our public works, with the, you know, with the, with the police, with Smith Bus Company. All these teams got together. Within a half an hour, this was resolved and done, and it just. But not only that, we had the, the you know, the issues with the Bardard roof. We had the leakings. The leaks were fixed. We had the, the first phase done. We had the second phase done. We had the we had the cleaning. We had the the complaints that we had to take care of, and all that stuff. The building of the ground did over the summer. The cleaning they did. The the attention that to these buildings. That, you know, they're they're a godsend. That's all. We our staff is phenomenal. The Eagle. Oh, we from there. Yeah, the Eagle Academy opening. The head start moving over to Stowe. All these things we did. It's just. You know the parking lot, the air conditioner, which I which I heard is we got a new bid for that's supposed to be less than the original bid. So all the work that's got over there to make that happen, it's. My wife bought me this gavel right after, for my, the Christmas after I was sworn in, and she had a part of my speech written on it. The future is bright. Watch out, it's only going to get brighter. Well, I think in the last two years we've got brighter and I think we're even gonna get more brighter. It's just, we, we're to be continued. It's just, we're gonna work together. We're gonna, we are here for the kids. Every penny that we think we make is for the kids. And, it, and literally it's pennies, we don't make anything. But we're, we take the time. We go to the subcommittee meetings. We go to the joint facility committee meetings. Now we got the JFK meetings. We are literally every night at a meeting, not, not at this one or that one. Like my predecessor always said, work is done at the subcommittee level. Well, that's more true than ever. So I think I said enough. That's, that's make enough for not speaking at graduation. So. <laughs> Again, you will be missed. You will be missed. Ashley, you are missed. Sarah, you will be missed. And the rest of us, Throw it up in the air and see what happens. So, and thank you, thank you for giving me this position to serve this. It was an honor serving as chairman, and we'll see what happens. That's all. Leave it at that. Number ten, unfinished business. We have none. Number eleven A, we will take care of after number sixteen. Correct. So we go right into board member, uh, number 12 board mem board committee reports, curriculum. We met a couple of weeks ago on October 9th, and uh, we had to, basically we had a number of issues that we had to take care of because things were coming out and they had to get done before the end of the term. So um, there were three basic ones that we had to deal with, and uh, I thank Walter for coming to the meeting and, and helping us out there. The first one was on standards-based report cards, and we've had standards-based report cards for several years now, but we never did include the special areas like special ed, like um, a PE, like STEAM. They, the the, the um, standards hadn't been done for those. So they had committees working on that, and the goal was to get them out, I believe, by November 15th of this year, or November of this year, uh, the, the, the revised um, um, uh, standards-based report cards. So they've written up STEAM standards, they've written up the PE standards, and um, they've written up the special ed standards. Various committees had done that. Uh, they had been working on it, I think, for about a year, and they, they brought them forward. Very, very good job, as usual, with our staff, uh, and very, very pro professional. So the um, the committee gave their, their seal of approval to it, and they're moving on with getting those out there this November to the parents. They're also going to be, at our request, they're writing up um, a, dis a description of, of what the standards mean because these are brand new to the parents as well. And so that's going to come out uh, along with the report cards. The second thing was there was a new music course that was proposed by Mr. Rapucci, and again, they, they came up with the um, curriculum for that. It's called the History of American Popular Music. It's a half-credit court course. Um, they've documented the need, and it's going to be offered to students in grades 9 through 12. It's going to help the, in their minds, it helps the Enfield um, uh, 
high school music department provide a more well-rounded curriculum, um, and they're dealing with some new standards that, got, that, that t they're dealing with some standards that were not addressed in the other courses, so they, they uh, are going to be addressed in this one. And the final one was uh, another AP course, an AP course in macroeconomics. Mr. Degg brought this forth, forth and um, it's going to include a, um, a, 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 we're going to add in a level one AP course in macroeconomics. It doesn't have a stringent math requirement, which keeps some kids out of some of the economics courses, but it is very, very useful and it'll be appealed to a wide variety of students. So that was, that was the last thing that was, that was approved and I think it's going to go into effect, if I'm not mistaken, next, next year. So when the kids, when the kids apply for courses, this will be in the program of studies. That's about it. I just want to add that with, with uh, Kate Middleton and her, and her oh. staff there too did a phenomenal job with all the, the, the few meetings that I sat in and it's just, you know, we've added the AP, what are we up to 20 now, AP courses? I Does believe? that make 20? Yes. yes. We had, I think we, there's one that we didn't offer, but we approved it. Yeah, 19 yeah. and there's one yeah. in, yeah. yeah. But, Phenomenal job again by our staff. No. I have faith in our staff. So, all right, finance. Final time. Final time. Last meeting was yesterday. Everybody got their adopted 2019-20 budget books, um, and we are still on track. So everything's looking good. That's it. I don't know when the next meeting is. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you care at this point? <laughs> and when we fall off track, we're going to be I just want to know when the door. next curriculum meeting is so I can go have some fun. <laughs> I'll send you a personal invitation. Okay. Policy, <laughs> Mr. Rainier, last time. Uh, yeah, as Mr. Ryder has said, uh, unfortunately, due to some unforeseen circumstances, we had to cancel some meetings uh, and weren't able to get in everything that we wanted to, uh, but something that was sitting on the table was that of the second audience, so hopefully that momentum can move forward with the, with the following board. Um, and a policy resolution in regards to keeping Charlotte Riley on the Board of Education did not pass, um, although that would have been awesome since, like, this is you, um, but you're going to be doing great things otherwise. Um, but I just wanted to thank Scott and thank uh, Mr. Longy and thank uh, Mr. Rutledge for the policy committee. We had a great time. Uh, we did what we could and hopefully uh, made some changes that will have some long-lasting effects in a good way. I also sat in on some of those meetings, so I don't know, curriculum, policy, uh, Maybe, the, maybe curriculum a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. 12-4. 12-4. Yeah. 12-4. Yeah. 12-4. Yeah. 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 Oh, is, is the next and, meeting. And, you know, maybe we, I'll go just hang just out. You just said that. Clarific they're scheduled. They're all. They're public. They are. Yeah. yeah, they're yeah. Public, yeah. <laughs> Clarification. Aren't a first, the, uh, uh, the first board meeting is the 26th of November, not the 30th. I didn't. 30th is a Saturday, so I didn't. I wanted to correct that. But. More importantly, I gave our kid mayor's mom the correct date, so yeah. I pulled it right <laughs> off my phone. So the 26th of November would be the. the Through the, the chair the, to the, the superintendent, I got that date from the superintendent. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought of it when you said it, and I looked and I forgot to correct it. So I correct Chairman, it right I got now. that date from PTO.com. <laughs> 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 that can't be true. <laughs> <laughs> Leadership was, we had nothing but what meetings we had. They were informative, phenomenal, a lot of stuff, a lot of information that I wish we could, we could public, but we'll leave it at that. But, uh, yeah, no, we did not have steak tips. But it was, it was, we... The leadership team was a, it was a great team working with all three of you. And joint facilities. We're not meeting again until the 14th, the 14th so of November. Of November. Okay. So new members will be voting. Or we'll be going to that meeting. JFK. There was a meeting this past Thursday. They finalized some minor things because they want. I think they've already submitted to planning and zoning. If not yesterday, then today. They were submitting to planning and zoning and getting. I have uh, a question getting, for the chair. Please. So uh, they were here, you know, Randy and yes. crew were here last meeting. So I've been talking to so many people because I was so excited about the plans and the explanation of the swing space. And we had the timeline. Um, 
can we, you know, get the copy of that PowerPoint they sent out? Are we able to send that out or get a copy of that? I, will, I, will ask. I know they said they were going to put it on the Facebook page <clears throat> and the website. Yeah, I had asked them to send the PowerPoint to put it on their Facebook page and also just send us a copy as a board. Um, they posted the YouTube clip of their entire presentation. Right. But we were also just looking for the PowerPoint to share with folks. Uh, yeah, because it was, um, it was great. And I would just love for the parents who have yeah. students there or the parents who have students I, coming to, I don't to know be if able the town to see put it, it on their website. Maybe at the town manager's website, I don't know. But I will double check. I will, I will ask them. Yes. That's a good, that's a good point. Yes, we should. No. I think it was just an oversight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, um, it, it's been uh, two weeks, and yeah, like no. I said, I've been talking like, to so many people. Well, they, well, they were, you know, like I said, they were. They, there was supposed to be a meeting last Thursday, but I guess the Thursday before, there was some dispute on the, on some design things, Ford planning and zoning, so they were busy trying to get that ironed out. But okay. It's not posted. It's not posted. All right. Okay, we, so, yeah, I will, if you guys uh, could work I'll, on uh, I'll, I'll send an email later and see if I can get that. Perfect. Thank you. So that's JFK. Mm -hmm. Joint security doesn't meet until? The next joint security meeting is Wednesday, November 20th. Okay. And insurance doesn't meet again until, no, until March. March. And that's it for that's it. committees. Number 13, approval of minutes, regular board meeting minutes, October 8th, 2019. So moved. moved by Second. Mr. Neville, seconded by Mr. Lanier. Any discussion, changes? Show of hands, all in favor? Six in favor, zero against. Number 14, Ms. Riley for the last time. Okay. Ms. All Vice right. Chairman. <laughs> All right, so Finance Committee met on October 21st, 2019 to review financial statements for the month of August year to date and to examine various documents related to finances. Our review concluded that there was nothing significant to report to the board. I move the acceptance Amount to, oops, sorry about that, three million six hundred ninety-six thousand five hundred fifty-nine dollars and forty-eight cents, broken down between payroll totaling two million five hundred four thousand nine hundred fifteen dollars and thirty-five cents, and other accounts totaling one million one hundred ninety-one thousand six hundred forty-four dollars and thirteen cents. All payments have been made in accordance with the approved budget and are properly accounted for within the books of accounts. Copies of approval for check invoices are properly documented. Motion by Ms. Riley. Second. Seconded by Ms. LeBlanc. Any discussion? Show of hands. Six in favor, zero against. Okay, last one. Um, <clears throat> Finance Committee met on October 21st, 2019 to review financial statements for the month of September year to date and to examine various documents related to finances. Our review concluded there is nothing significant to report to the board. I move that we accept the superintendent's certification as follows. I hereby certify in the month of September, total expenditures amount to $5,819,470.89, broken down between payroll, totaling $4,253,533.11, and other accounts totaling $1,565,937.78. All payments have been made in accordance with the approved budget and are properly accounted for within the books of accounts. Copies of approved approval for check invoices are properly documented motion by miss riley second second by miss leblanc any discussion all in favor show hands six in favor zero against and again pat west also an excellent job she does for the, for the keeping all these numbers straight yes. me they would be all over the place mm -hmm. i would i would lose track of them so 15 correspondence and communications Yes, we have two. Um, Enfield High School, the orchestra, orchestra Jazz Ensembles and Chorus present a benefit concert for the Enfield Shoe, Food Shelf and Enfield Loaves and Fishes on Thursday, October 24th at 6.30 in the Enfield High or Auditorium. Um, so if you can attend, that would be great. Also, the Enfield High uh, 2020 Safe Grad Committee is holding their annual fall auction on Saturday, November 16th at 6 p.m. at the Elks, uh, with the auction promptly starting at 7. That's it. Thank you. Number 16, Executive Session for Matters Related to Collective Bargaining. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Moved by Ms. Riley, seconded by Mr. Neville. Uh, 
Any discussion? All in favor? We are going to the executive session again. Thank you all. And we're, we're closing this part of the meeting, but uh, returning not to, not to television after executive session. Good night.